What's the difference between Fox and Falco? These longtime Smash characters have progressively gotten more different little by little across the series, but just how much was done to make them more unique? Let's find out. I'll be tackling the major differences between these characters without going too far into the territory of hitboxes and frame data. First, let's talk about some general character traits. To no surprise, Fox is much faster than Falco. However, Falco gets a much higher jump distance than Fox. Falco also has a slower airspeed and is a bit floatier. In fact, Fox has the fastest fall speed of the entire roster. When it comes to weight, Falco is a little heavier, but both characters are still very light. Oh, and both characters can wall jump. All right, now let's get into their basic attacks. Their neutral attacks have different animations, but they're still very similar outside of that. In fact, there's really not much else to say. It's more of a visual difference than anything. Now onto their forward tilt, which are basically the same attacks. This tilt can be angled with both characters. The most notable difference is that, when angled, Fox's attack has a slight boost to damage, whereas Falco's doesn't. Their down tilts are also very similar. For both characters, the move is strongest on the inside of the attack. Falco's attack is a bit stronger and also has a lot more knockback. Their up tilts are different attacks. Fox does a single quick kick reaching from the back to the front. It can be comboed into itself or various other attacks. Falco's attack is two hits, which has a little more knockback, but can still be used for combos. However, it won't always reliably connect if the opponent is behind him. As for their dash attacks, they are about the same. Both versions are strongest at the start, with a late hit being weaker. Falco's attack does more damage and knockback overall, and a late hit also launches the opponent more horizontally. Okay, let's dive into their smash attacks now. Their forward smashes are different attacks. Fox does a kick that covers a good distance. Falco swings his wings forward, which has a slightly smaller range than Fox, but is more powerful in both damage and knockback. Both attacks are also weaker when getting a late hit. Their down smashes are pretty much the same. Both have pretty lacking range. Honestly, there isn't a lot to say aside from Falco's version being a bit stronger. Their up smashes are different attacks despite looking similar. Fox's is a one-hit flip kick, and it'll cover both sides of him, although getting a late hit is very weak. Regardless, it's one of his best KO tools due to its high speed and knockback. Falco's is a two-hit attack, with the second hit launching the opponent. Unlike Fox, it won't cover both sides unless the opponent is very large. It's also known to be fairly unreliable, with it often dropping the opponent after the first hit. Fox's attack is simply better. That's it for the smash attacks, so let's move on to their air attacks, and there are a lot of differences here. First up is their neutral airs, which are different attacks. Fox's attack is a simple kick that has a long-lasting hitbox, and although getting a late hit is weak, it can lead into follow-ups and is a great pressure tool. Falco's attack is a four-hit mid-air spin, which launches with the final hit. It does good damage and can also be followed up with other attacks, while also being a good tool for offstage KOs. Their forward airs are also different attacks. Fox does multiple kicks in the air, then launching the opponent vertically. Falco spins forward almost like a drill, doing multiple hits and launching the opponent more horizontally. Fox's does more damage overall, but Falco's is much better as a KO tool, especially offstage. Their back airs are the same type of attacks, but they have slightly different properties. Both of them do a quick kick behind them, with good damage and knockback. But Fox's requires more precise timing, since Falco's has a longer active hitbox. However, a late hit with Falco is a bit weaker. Still, Falco's attack is a better KO option due to having stronger knockback. Their down airs look similar on the surface, but they are actually very different. Fox's is a multi-hit attack with weak knockback. Falco's attack comes out a little later, and it's also just one hit but it acts as a Meteor Smash when timed correctly. As far as Meteor Smashes go, this is one of the quickest in the game, making it a very potent ganking tool. However, a late hit is much weaker. Finally, their up airs, which look similar, but again, have several differences. Fox does a somersault that does two hits, which then launches the opponent. It's very quick and can even be comboed into itself, juggling the opponent. It's Fox's best KO tool out of his aerial options. Falco also does a quick somersault, but it's only a single hit and does less damage and knockback, but it can still be used to set up combos. Alrighty, let's finally get into their special attacks. For their neutral special, both of them use a blaster. Fox's blaster can be fired very quickly, 
while Falco's is a bit slower, although he does shoot it slightly faster in the air. Falco's blaster makes the opponent flinch, while Fox's doesn't. Also, Fox's blaster does less damage the farther away the opponent is. This doesn't apply to Falco at all, and in terms of range, Fox's blaster shots travel a little more distance. Their side specials are the same type of attacks, but have some key differences. Fox's illusion does more damage on the ground. It also goes a little farther distance than Falco on the ground. While in the air, it's about the same, due to Falco continuing to move forward after the illusion ends. Both characters can do various follow-ups when the move is placed properly, but in the air, they operate differently. When Fox lands the attack in the air, it just weakly launches the opponent, but Falco's attack does a weak meteor smash, which has potential for ganking edge-guarding opponents. Also, both characters can still move normally after using the attack mid-air, making it great for adding a boost to recovery distance. They both use reflectors for their down specials, but they're effectively different attacks. Fox activates his reflector and covers himself with a blue energy field. This move will weakly launch opponents that are in very close range. Falco, on the other hand, kicks out his reflector, which then returns to him. When it collides with an opponent, they'll simply flinch. Now, when actually reflecting a projectile, Fox's has a slightly higher damage multiplier, which means the reflected attack will be stronger than it is with Falco. Fox can also use his reflector more quickly than Falco, since with Falco you'll have to wait for the full animation to finish. Finally, when Fox uses his reflector in the air, it actually slows down his fall speed. This trait doesn't apply to Falco. Lastly, they're up special, which are the same type of attacks but still have some differences. First, Fox's attack goes a bit farther than Falco's. When used as an attack, both characters emit a fiery aura that'll hurt nearby opponents, before launching themselves in the chosen direction. After takeoff, Fox's attack is a single hit, which deals more knockback than Falco's move. However, Falco's move is a multi-hit, which can deal way more damage if you manage to land every hit. But the knockback is very weak and has virtually no KO potential. Alright, that's it for their special moves, but real quick, let's talk about their throws. Their throw animations are about the same, but there's one key difference that changes how they operate. For the throws using the blaster, Fox's blaster just adds more damage to the opponent. But with Falco, the extra blaster shot also launches the opponent farther upon impact, which gives both his up throw and back throw better KO potential. Oh, and I almost forgot about their final smash attacks. Unfortunately, aside from some small animation differences, they're almost identical. The only real gameplay difference is that Fox's attack launches the opponent a little more horizontally, while Falco's is much more vertical. So yeah. That's really about it. I'm a little sad Falco was never given more unique special attacks. I mean, there's a full arsenal of weapons they could pull from Star Fox Assault, but I think Falco is doomed to always be a spin-off of Fox, retaining a lot of the same attacks with altered properties. Sure, he has unique attacks of his own, which is far more than he had in Melee, but I'd be surprised if we ever saw him get a full unique moveset. Anyway, what do you all think? Which character do you prefer? Chat it out below. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you again soon. Catch you later. Never give up. Trust your instincts. Surprise attack coming from above. Okay, now shoot the switch.